crews are trying to move that massive cargo ship that has been stuck in the Chesapeake Bay for going on three weeks now. News 4's Mark Seagraves has been covering the story since that ship ran aground. He joins us live now from Downs Park. So, Mark, you spoke with a woman who has all of her worldly possessions on that ship. That's right. We know at least what is in one, in one of those boxes on the ship over my shoulder. You can see the Ever Forward has been where she has been for more than two and a half weeks. This woman and her husband just moved back to the United States from Hong Kong. Yes, and as you said, everything they own is on that ship. We are at the whims of uh, the Tide and the salvage crew of the, uh, of the Ever Forward. Tracy Alloway, a financial reporter for Bloomberg, just moved from Hong Kong to New York City. Just about everything she and her husband own are now stuck in the Chesapeake Bay in one of these containers. Everything except the three or four bags that my husband took with us on the plane. Uh, the entire contents of my apartment, all our furniture, lots of books, uh, lots of stuff with sentimental value is all on that container, which is currently stuck on a very, very large ship in the Chesapeake. Today, two additional tugboats joined the five tugboats that tried yesterday to once again pull and push the Ever Forward backward into the shipping channel. You have propeller and all that stuff in here. Once again today, curious onlookers watched from the shore. And once again, the shipping channel is closed, causing a backup of cargo ships near the Bay Bridge. It all started earlier this month when the Ever Forward, a massive cargo ship heading out of Baltimore Harbor, missed a turn in the channel and ran aground. The Ever Forward has been stuck ever since. The ship, which needs 42 feet of water to float, found itself in about 24 feet of water, the entire hull of the ship now resting on the bottom of the bay. For more than a week, crews have been working to dredge out the mud beneath the ship in an attempt to refloat her. According to the Coast Guard, there was no progress made during yesterday's attempt to get Ever Forward out of the mud. So now you're taking a live look from Chopper 4 at all of those tugboats now positioning themselves to get ready to start pulling. High tide here is at 7 o'clock tonight. That's when they'll have their best window of opportunity to once again try to move the Ever Forward. If that doesn't succeed, they'll have to wait and try again early next week. As for Alloway, she tells me she and her husband have bought a bed and some utensils so that they can cook in their new apartment, but she doesn't expect to see her personal belongings for weeks, if not longer. That's the very latest from here at Downs Park. Back to you guys. I, I can't imagine what that family must be going through. Uh -huh. Mark, I know yesterday you told us they would try this again Sunday using an even different technique. What happens between today and Sunday if this doesn't work? Yeah, if this doesn't work, they'll reopen the shipping lanes again so these uh, big ships can start coming back through here. And they'll probably lose a couple of days of dredging because of the high winds. You heard Doug Cameron talking about a, a weather alert for tomorrow. They're expecting high winds here out on the bay over the next couple of days, so they won't be able to do anything. But they will try to do some more dredging. Then they will bring in two large barges with cranes, anchor those barges on the port and starboard side, attach the cranes to the ship, and then on Sunday, once again, try pulling with the leverage of those barges and the additional tugboats and hope that that gets them out. If that doesn't get them out, it could be until mid-April oh, when wow. the tides here are actually rise high enough to lift it up off of that oh, mud. Oh, no, no. My goodness. All right, what a mess out there. I feel bad for so many people waiting for stuff that's on that ship.